All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of King Tech. I'm your host, Corey, here. And today we're gonna to be doing my review of the Note 20 Ultra 5G. I've had this phone for about a month now, so I'm gonna go through all the features, give you a complete overview of the phone, let you know about the camera, the software, what I'm loving, what I'm not loving, and we're just gonna go through it, all right? So let's go. Good, just reviewing the Note 20 Ultra 5G. Loving it, got my T. Doing good. Man, this phone, I'm telling you. One of the best phones I've ever owned, for sure. Can't go wrong. Better than 12? iPhone 12? Yeah, I'm afraid so. If they don't have that 120 hertz refresh rate, I know iOS 14 with the widgets and stuff like that, it's becoming more and more like Android, but I think having that 120 hertz refresh rate, having that S Pen, I didn't even talk about the S Pen yet. But the S Pen, I think it's gonna like, it's the best feature. Like, I don't think people, like you gotta think about the S Pen as like a mouse when it comes to the Note 20. It's like having a mouse for your phone. You, sometimes on phones you can't highlight stuff, but with the S Pen you can highlight anything. So it's like literally like I said, having a mouse, um, being able to jot down notes real quick, being able to just do a whole bunch of stuff that you wouldn't be able to do on any other phone. And I know this phone costs $1,300, $1, but there's nothing else like it on the market. You're not gonna find a phone with a stylus like this. You're not gonna find a phone with a huge battery like this, 4,500 milliamp hour battery. You're not gonna find a phone with, you know, amazing camera hardware, 108 megapixel camera. We got ultra wide, we got a five mega, we got a five times optical zoom camera. It's a beast, you just can't find anything like it on the market. All right, everybody, so let's talk about the build quality on this phone first. So. This phone is an amazing phone to look at and hold. It feels great in the hands. Like this is probably one of the best looking phones I've ever owned. And that's just like, you know how the kids say, no cap. <laughs> but so this phone is in the Mystic Bronze color. Uh, we have the new back here, which is a frosted glass back. So it doesn't show as many fingerprints. There will be some fingerprints, but it's not as bad as it was. Older phones with that glossy glass back, as soon as we touch it, it just, ah, it just couldn't clean. You always have to keep, keep the uh, microfiber cloth always whopping it off but this thing looks absolutely amazing we have that huge camera hump there but from the pictures you get from this i'm not going to play about that camera hump it is big but we have some amazing camera hardware inside of here and of course we have our s pen right down here at the bottom of the phone and this gives you so many other possibilities here i um, love this thing we'll get more into that later but just from a build quality standpoint this is probably the best built phone i ever owned now moving on from the build quality of course we have the screen now this is a 120 hertz refresh screen so when you're scrolling through twitter or scrolling through instagram it's buttery smooth when you're flying through the ui it looks amazing like any phone that's going to be have the name ultra or have the name pro in it from now on needs to have a 120 hertz screen there's no excuses for it so iphone 12 i'm looking at you if you don't have that 120 hertz refresh rate don't call yourself a pro. You're not a pro. Um, but yeah, so this screen, like I said, nearly bezel-less, 120 hertz refresh rate, um, HDR10. So when you're watching YouTube videos or watching Netflix, whatever, it's gonna look absolutely amazing on this screen. And with any phone, the screen is what you're interacting with most. So if you don't have an amazing screen on a phone, it kind of takes away from the overall experience of the phone. So between the build quality of this phone and the screen, you have an amazing experience, just those two things alone. Now, we're gonna move on to the cameras. I'm gonna show you all the camera features this phone has, because it has a lot. What's up? Do you think, arguably, the iPhone camera <laughs> will be better than this camera? I mean, I, the iPhone 11 camera was really, really, really good. And I think these cameras are really good too, but I think the thing is like, they're both really good. I think they just have different styles to them. So like, it's like Sony and Canon, you know, like there's gonna be different styles to the pictures you take with each camera. And I think both of them are really good. And like, you can't go wrong with either one of them, but they're just gonna have different styles now. All right, now moving on to the camera. Now this camera, ha this phone has some of the best camera hardware on any phone, hands down. We have a 108 megapixel wide angle camera right there in the middle. Then we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Then we have our five times optical zoom camera at the bottom there. 
that thing is amazing. I'm gonna show you that. That'll get you in some trouble actually. So let's go over here. I'm gonna show you how to take some pictures with this thing real quick. So first up, um, we have our regular wide angle here and we have our little guide there to get, line up the best shot. And then from there, we have our ultra wide, get everything in the shot. And then this five times, optical zoom, like I said, that thing gets you all the way in there. Let's take this picture. And it goes even further than that. So you even have 50 times zoom and you can get right in on your subject there. Now these aren't necessarily usable pictures, but just the fact that you're able to do that speaks a lot of volume to the, the camera hardware. And of course, on the front here, we have our 10 megapixel selfie camera. And this also has a little bit of a wide angle option there. If we can get everybody in the shot, what's up, Cam? There we go. Um, so like I said, this camera hardware on this phone and then also the software, we also have a pro mode. So if you wanna get in there with nitty gritty, adjust your aperture, adjust your you know, shutter speed, you have all that. And then they also added 8K this year. Now that's a crazy thing to be able to do, recording 8K on the phone. Now, in my opinion, it doesn't look the absolute best, but the fact that you're even able to do it speaks a lot of volume. about the Samsung phone this year is honestly the software. The software has gotten so much better over the years. Uh, started with the S7 and S8, I feel like Samsung really started to make a calculated like decision on how they were handling the software with these phones. So with the Note 20, obviously this is Samsung's like holy grub of phone. So it has pretty much every software feature you can think of inside of this phone. Now, I wanna actually start with what's called One UI. So this is One UI 2.5. It'll be getting updated here pretty shortly to 3.0 once Android 11 drops, but this is Android 10 with uh, One UI 2.5. And what Samsung has done here is kind of made everything accessible for one hand. Like a lot of phones nowadays are so big that you really can't reach. So when you go into the settings here, the first few options are easily accessible just with you know your thumb. Um, and if we move more into some of the other settings here, you'll see that everything kind of starts down here. Everything that you want to press is at the bottom of the screen. So you're not having to like reach to the top. So they're kind of making these larger phones easier to use with one hand with one, one UI 2.5. Um, and then just moving on from that, we also have the S Pen. And this is this is what you get the note for. This is this little thing I can said before. This is like a mouse, basically. So think of it like that. So you can obviously use it to take notes. So if I wanted to sit here and jot down a few little notes, I can say, you know, hello. Um, it's a really good note taking device. They've made this thing even faster. The response time on the pen is down to I think like nine milliseconds, uh, which kind of matches the Apple Pencil actually. So they got it down to exactly um, as slow as it can go. You also have inside of here features like um, pen up. Pen up will let you do coloring books, all kind of different stuff. Uh, you have the ability to use this as a Bluetooth device as well. So let's say we're in the camera here um this will let you let me go back here it'll let you take a picture you can double tap it to flip the camera around and it will let you take a selfie all we're using the pen so like i said this thing unlocks so many possibilities with this note 20 that you wouldn't get otherwise with another phone so i love the fact that they are continuing to make the s pen more of a feature with the phone. It's, it's, not, it's, not long, it's no longer just a note-taking device. Like I said, 
the fact that it's a Bluetooth device now, you can use it to control things. If we're in um, the gallery, you can you can hover over stuff and it will make it larger. It basically just lets you get a lot more features out of your phone that you wouldn't get otherwise with just your regular you know finger input. So loving the S Pen, loving the software on the Note 20. And honestly, guys, I think that's really about it for us this phone. We went over the build quality, we've been over the software, we went over the camera. And I think for the money, this is the best phone you can buy. And if you're thinking about buying it, just go ahead and do it. If you have the money, jump on it. You won't be disappointed by this phone. From the build quality, to the software, to the cameras, to having the S Pen, this is the best phone of 2020. I'm saying it right now. It's gonna be better than the iPhone 12 already. I'm, not, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it, this is gonna be the best phone you can buy, all right? So, this has been another episode of King Tech. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like, uh, leave comments. Just let me know what you think about the videos, guys. I really appreciate all the support lately. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Let's go.